It is sad to see where Matt Harvey is right now in his career and life. Yesterday, Major League Baseball suspended the Orioles pitcher 60 games for distributing painkillers to the late Tyler Skaggs with the Angels in 2019, a violation of MLB's joint drug prevention and treatment program. With Harvey, it makes you think where we are now, where we have been. Harvey was the seventh overall pick by the Mets in 2010. On July 26, 2012, he made his debut for the Mets against the Arizona Diamondbacks, set a club record 11 strikes. Strikeouts earned his first major league win at 6-4. He was a power pitcher, movie star, good looks for an organization that was looking for a turning point toward success, and he appeared to be it. Harvey was a huge star in the city. Tagged as the Dark Knight, he started for the National League in the All-Star Game at City Field in 2013. Then the injuries mounted. Tommy John surgery, thoracic outlet syndrome, and a stress fracture in his right scapula. What once was a promising career was derailed through injuries and a pension for the nightlife. He never won 20 games, never made 30 starts in a season, and his career record is 50 and 66. We all make choices in life, and Harvey is a cautionary tale of what could have been. He had the talent to make the $200 million he said he was going to make in 2013. Unfortunately, a myriad of different reasons leave him here now. Some he could not control, some were of his own doing. The dark night of Gotham was once a thing in this city, and that seems like decades ago. The candle that burns twice as bright burns half as long. As quickly as Harvey came, he went. Until next time, New York, I'm Mark Malusis.